Today we have a 2015 GMC Yukon and we're going to be installing a compressor with a set of air horns. This is just a cheap Amazon kit they want installed. So we're going to go ahead and install it up here in the grill where all this room is. Now to take this grill out, it's not easy like the older body styles. You have to take all these 10 millimeter screws out. You have to take this bracket off. Also this bracket here. We have to come in through the wheel well, take these inner liners out, and there's some screws we have to get to in here. Then there's two brackets, two big plastic brackets up in the middle of the bumper with two bolts as well. We have to take those out. All right, you guys, you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten millimeters up on the top, okay? You need to come in the wheel liners, and you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven millimeters per wheel liner, okay? You guys are going to have a couple bolts right here. You're going to have a 10 millimeter here, a 10 millimeter here, a plastic push pin, 10 millimeter there. Then coming over here, the center brackets that I mentioned earlier, you have a 10 millimeter there, 10 millimeter right here. You have the one, two, the plastic push pin, and then three, the plastic one over there. And this bumper will come off. Here is the grill bumper assembly. You'll have plastic clips here that will line up in the fender. You pull it out towards you. Depending on your model and your package, now you might not have the front park sensors. There is one harness that literally connects everything, the fog lights, the park sensors. Again, if your model is equipped with all this, say hi, GPGD. You literally take this harness, disconnect it, and it plugs in right here and this entire bumper grill assembly will come right guys, off so as far as getting the compressor and the set of horns up here so far looks like i'm gonna just get the compressor up here it's nice and straight and also i'm trying to get access for the drain i know you guys can't see that down there but i'm gonna have to hole saw a bit straight down on a, like a 30 degree angle then i can get up underneath it with an extension and a small 10 millimeter socket and empty that every once in a while because we don't want this thing to build up a lot of condensation and moisture inside and compressor will take a crap it'll rust on the inside of the tank then as far as actuating the solenoid on the actual horns we'll ground it one to the fender this is where the horns are going to rest we'll ground it to the mounting bracket on one side and the other we'll go to the actual positive horn or positive of the horns which is right here yes we're going to disconnect the factory set of horns I can always plug them back in, take all this off the truck, and the truck would be normal. And when you hit the normal horn button inside the vehicle, right there in the middle of the steering wheel, it will actually activate the set of air horns. Pretty cool setup. Yeah, right? Keeps everything nice and clean, everything inside the engine bay. You don't have to drill holes and run a bunch of stuff into the cab. It's a nice truck. We want to keep right, it you guys. Way. The compressor is mounted. Went ahead and used rubber feet on all four corners. I used the two thin pieces provided in the kit with the actual compressor. But you guys can see I actually made a recessed cut down here for the drain, that's a 11 millimeter. So even with the bumper on, we come up underneath the truck and we can get to it right there. Very accessible, plenty of room to get in here, no problem. And you guys wanna make sure wherever you mount your compressor, mount it so you can get access to the drain because this will extend the life of your compressor right, you guys, excuse me. the fan in the background i got it on for the dog so be mindful compressor you guys saw is mounted went ahead and i was able to get the compressor and the train horn in here hell i could put another set over here if i wanted to <laughs> for right now this would be all right actually i do have another set of horns hmm. anyways so went ahead got our line ran the shortest amount so we'll actually probably get more volume, more air. I mean, not that it, it's gonna be a big tank regardless, but a, a shorter run means more volume because over distance, you use more volume, if that makes sense. And what I was able to do was I unscrewed these two horns, came in on an angle behind the core support bar here, screwed them back in. We have plenty of room behind the AC condenser there and up here. Took two big zip ties and I took some self-tapping screws and I self-tapped it right back in there and it is not hitting the AC condenser. You guys can see from down to that pocket. And these things are absolutely solid. And this is going to clear the bumper, obviously because it's recessed further back than the compressor. We have the room from the grill being dipped on that corner. So all we have to do now is wire up everything. Wire up our purchase switch, the ground, which I'm going to take the ground and probably just 
self tap it right here to this aluminum crossbar i'm hoping i can do that we'll see if it works and i can test that real quick i'll just put 12 volts here to this and the other side i'll just put a self tapper there if that works i'll ground it there the presser i'm probably just gonna ground it up the same thing and then the positive i'll just wire that straight to the battery with the relay of course and then the positive side or whatever side of the relay is going to connect to the horn the pin on the right where my thumb is the pin on the right it's a positive okay the one on the left is negative so we have to tap into the right one all right you guys this took me a full day taking my time no rush it is done this little guy takes about 20 seconds if that to completely fill from zero psi now keep in mind this is just under half a liter which is like 0.4 of a gallon i think this thing's not even a half gallon a half liter so basically this from here to this point is the tank from here back is the actual compressor we got the wiring all nice and cleaned up ran it through here up underneath the headlight goes up in this little void comes up right behind the sheathing here and i ended up just zip tying the relay here you can always move it if you need to put an air filter in the truck whatever the case may be put a self tapper here for the ground and then the trigger wire from the fuse panel runs up and over you guys saw earlier it's this wire here is our trigger wire for 12 volt switch technician then coming up underneath here you guys can see it ran it straight to the battery made a little notch there tighten it up put a 20 amp included fuse inside the holder and that is it now i just have a god awful mess to clean up and i'll show you guys the finished product but i just wanted to show you it is done i went ahead and i tapped into another fuse the one over here originally didn't work it was a uh, the wrong circuit so i went ahead and tapped over to one that's uh 12 volt switch technician as long as you guys have a switch technician doesn't matter which one you go to just be mindful which one you go to just kind of try to go to a non-important circuit just in case if anything was to happen if you were to blow a fuse or whatever the case may be you don't want to lose all engine power and rear end somebody for an example so just be mindful of that but you guys can see all i have to do is just trim make a little notch here and the fuse panel cover will pop right back in just above 30 psi I'll go ahead and turn the ignition on, and you guys can hear how quiet this little compressor is, which is very phenomenal, so you won't hear inside the cab. There you go, just kicked on. It almost sounds like a vacuum pump, like when you do AC when you pull a vacuum. What was that? 25 seconds, if that, and that's it. And of course, I'll go ahead and honk the horn for you impatient people. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn the radio off. And you guys just have to hit the horn button. And the compressor already kicked on. It's that simple, guys. So let me go ahead, clean the mess up, and I'll show you guys. All right, you guys, well, that's a wrap to installing a train horn on a 2015 GMC Yukon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have a Suburban and a Yukon, it's the same exact thing. Went ahead, got the bumper roll back on. No lift over screws, unfortunately. We don't have any weight reduction, but hey, we'll be all right. Everything lines up nice and nice. Again, the only thing you can see is the relay and a little bit of wiring here. Went ahead, got the fuse cover back on, and you can see just a little bit of wire loom there, but it's no big deal. Just got to get the tools out of here. Put this valence back on, and then you guys can come down here, and you can look at your air gauge, which is the main reason why I wanted it right here. And you guys can see we have access to the drain. Bada boom, bada bang. Right there. Like it was meant right, to fit here. Here's the finished product. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like. Comment down below. Subscribe. If you guys want one of these installed, let me know and I can get your guys' truck hooked up. Can't even tell anything's installed, even looking through the grill here. Sweet.